Hello everyone, welcome back to another installment of What the Ace News, the new series where I keep you in the know of what's going on in the world so you don't have to. Roll that intro. SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob Corner Pants, SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob SquarePants. The protests for uh, Black Lives Matter are still going on, and they finally got the UN's attention. The UN stated that they will investigate police violence in the US. Also, this is kind of old news at this point, but it happened about a week and a half ago, but it still happened. Jake Paul was spotted at a looting in Arizona. This man's net worth is estimated to be about like $19 million, so why does this guy need to be looting a Walmart? Probably for the views. Jake Paul got arrested and charged for trespassing, even though he was even though he was spotted by people looting. He denies that he ever did that. I couldn't find exactly how long are we in jail for, and maybe they haven't decided yet. Um, and also, protesters have toppled a, the, a statue of Christopher Columbus, which is which is good. That guy was an asshole. Um, COVID-19 cases have risen a lot because of two things, the protests and the end of the stay-home orders. Just so you all know, I am filming this on Wednesday, June 10th, so all of these statistics have probably changed since then. But these are the stats as of Wednesday. The cases in the U.S. have obviously risen a lot. Confirmed cases just hit 2 million. There are 574,638 recovered cases and 113,812 deaths. Illinois is no longer the third most infected state. California is, and now Illinois is the fourth. The cases globally are at 7.3 million, recovered cases are 3.2 billion, and deaths world worldwide are 414,063. Again, all of these statistics are as of Wednesday, June 10th. But really quick, I'd like to talk about something. So there are really two ways to get rid of this virus, right? The slow way or the quick way. The slow way is forcing everyone to stay home until places lower or until we come out with a vaccine, which is kind of what we've been doing. But the other way is to let everybody out, get infected, all die, and then that's it. It will infect everybody, which is a quick way, but it will kill a lot of people. But that's kind of what's going on right now, actually. Anyway, this was a short episode because I, I couldn't find much else to report on, and this is a dying series. This is just filler. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please leave a like. And if you like what I do, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. Every subscriber helps. I have an album. I have an album coming up. The R Word is coming out on Friday, July 3rd. I upload, uh, you better listen to it, or you should. I upload bi-weekly, a fun video on Tuesday and a What the Youth News installment every Friday. Click here to see last Tuesday's uh, video where I announced when my album is going to be coming out. And click here to see last week's episode of What the Youth News where I talked more about the protests and riots. I hope you all have a great weekend and I will see all of you on Tuesday with a brand new video. Bye everyone.